Hello beautiful people of YouTube, it is I, Beware of the Sin. In today's final spooky video, I bring you, Not So Happily Ever After Villain Edition. Before we begin, I'm deeply sorry for missing last week's spooky video. We had a lot of testing and a bunch of breakdowns didn't help. So I'll be posting more this week, because it's gonna be chill. Enough of the chit chat, let's get started. How is Villain Edition Othenshe different from normal Not So Happily Ever After videos? Well, the Disney princesses Yapno and Love Ear Not Going To have a Gorfi led F, as usual, instead they become villains. For example, Aurora, or Sleeping Bodhi, is wide awake. We're going to give this princess a villain backstory. Every villain has a motive, they're in it just evil for the fun of it. Now my Sleeping Beauty has been asleep in my old projects for a while. Literally, a year ago I was planning Genshe with her, but never finished. If you look to your right, we have Draft 1 with a gore-filled death. Now this is similar to her motive. She has been sleeping since she was 16, and she just woken up thinking Maleficent put her to a sleep. But after talking and fighting with Maleficent, she finds out her prince charming was actually a dick. The prince put her to sleep, because she rejected him. I got this idea from Song Fairy Tale by Gabby Sophia. Here's a clip. What if Prince Charming was in Sleeping Beauty cause she rejected him a moment before? Sleeping Beauty was outraged how stuck up can a guy Beto poison someone for rejecting him. Then pretend to save her. Maleficent agreed to help plot revenge with Sleeping Beauty, giving her magic powers, the source of the magic was a magical rose. She became a sword off poison ivy, cause the prince poisoned her. The irony am I right? Oh boy did the prince get a beating. Though the kingdom believed the prince over the princess. Red with rage of a thousand rose thorn Sleeping Beauty went back to Maleficent. Maleficent smiled looks like she has a little student. For years, Sleeping Bodhi studied under the careful teachings of Maleficent. In the end she became a powerful sorcerer of Theris, being able to wield great power, at the tips of her fingers. The two powerful girl bosses took down gender stereotypes of their kingdom, and put that nasty prince in the dungeons. In the end, it was pretty happy ending for a not so happily ever after, but this is villain sedition. I guess it's a not so happy ending for the prince. But we're fine with that. I do hope you enjoyed the last spooky video for spooky month. Also remind me to never try to make weekly content last minute. This video was made in a day. What are you all doing for Halloween? Comment below. Anyways thank you for watching and beware of the next video. If you made it this far, I have a secret. I'm secretly a bat.